Hello everyone and welcome to today's Across the Obelisk video. Today we are looking at Grookly. Grookly is a tank who can do an extraordinary amount of damage, probably higher damage than anyone else in the game. To unlock Grookly, in Act 1 you navigate to the small lake at the bottom and when you get there select the fishing option. If you're unsuccessful in the dice roll you should just reset the run and try again. After passing the dice roll, you finish combat and you will have obtained the big fish item. You then complete Act 1 as normal and navigate to the green portal. In the green region, you want to navigate to the waterfall ledge on the right hand side, but the best route to get there is to go all along the top using the boat. To get the boat, navigate to the north pier. If you have Maluka with you, you can get the boat for free, otherwise you will need to spend 1000 gold. Once you reach the waterfall ledge, you will then have to select the Give option. And then you will have unlocked Grookly. It's as simple as that. Grookly's passive is Furious, which gives you enrage stacks at the start of each turn. His unique item is Bone Claws, which increases your damage and applies bleed on hit. When leveling up Grookly, I like to go for Grudge, then Offensive Mastery, then Dual Wield, and then finally you can choose if you want Endless Fury or Tireless, depending on how your build is currently going at that stage. For perks, I like to go for a 27, 11, 4, 8. On the front page, you can optimize golden shards as you like. On the physical page, under Fury, I like to increase Fury damage to 5%, but you do take more bleed damage. This is so that I can maximize the damage I do. I then put points into sharp and the sharp cannot be dispelled or purged unless specified. I then make sure that I build my team around quickly and I want everyone in the team to have some sort of vulnerable application. You need to make sure that vulnerable increases piercing and slashing damage, vulnerable charges go up and also that they can go up to 12. So I like to make sure everyone in the team covers at least all of those. On the elemental page under powerful, I like to increase my powerful stacks to 12 because once again, it's just another way to increase your damage. On the mystical page under vitality, I want to make sure that when this hero gains vitality, it removes bleed. This gives you lots of options to dispel bleed. And I also like to get points in regeneration and make sure that regeneration heals people either side of Grookly. This is because my healers tend to run regeneration and healing rain and this allows Grookly to help his team out. Grookly's starting deck includes Blood Rage, Free Intercepts, Free Punches, his unique card Vigorous Fury, which applies Fury and Vitality based off your discard pile, two Blood for Bloods, three Precise Strikes, and two Reckless Charges. When adding cards on Grookly, I like to add one Blade Storm, which becomes my main damage source. I also add two Intimidates, one Sharpen, and two War Paints. When removing cards, I remove all of the intercepts and all of the punches. This is because the intercepts are useless unless you put more perk points into them, and the punches do blunt damage, but I will be building slashing damage. When upgrading cards, I upgrade one war paint so that it draws and burns. I upgrade the blade storm to be able to select your target, and I upgrade the two blood for bloods to select target and dispel your bleed stacks. Overall, it's a fairly cheap deck, but you can build on it quite easily. Later in the run, I want to find cards to replace the Precise Strikes. A card like an upgraded Carnage, although quite rare, is a very powerful card. Something like a Do-It-Yourself is also very useful, because if you also upgrade that, you can help the tank become just that little bit tankier. I also like to look out for a Furious Slash, but I only find this useful if you have a build which focuses on increasing your Fury stacks. When building items for Grookly, you want to look for anything that can get you to a more powerful state faster. For example, Gloves gives you some powerful at the start of combat, which is really useful. You also want to keep an eye out for an item like Fishing Rod. One of your team members can run Fishing Rod and use the Vitality buff to remove the bleed on Grookly every two turns. Another thing to keep an eye out for is anything that increases your mana or gives you more draw, anything like that. Flail, although it does increase blunt damage, is really useful because I can draw a card every single turn with Grookly. When looking at pets for Grookly, the perfect pet is Mozzie. 
Mozzie will dispel your bleed every single turn and then heal you for half the damage you take. The only problem with Mozzie is that she is very expensive and so I tend not to have enough gold. So instead, I run Chompy on one of my team members. Chompy will give a carp every two turns which will enable that person to dispel the bleed and it is half the price of Mozzie. When playing Grookly, I typically run him as a damage dealer and not as the main tank. So in this team composition here, everyone here is built to support Grookly. For example, Maluka can use her Vitalize to remove the bleed and Cornelius can add more vulnerable stacks with his Searing Touch as well as provide extra mana and extra draw for Grookly with his Tome of Intellect. It may take a few turns for Grookly to build up enough damage to be able to one-shot stuff, but by turn 3 or turn 4 he should be able to kill anything with one turn. When playing Grookly, you will want to make sure you prioritise targets that deal the most damage or are the weakest or most vulnerable to slashing damage. Bladestorm will be your main damage source, but you can make sure that you keep hurting people with all your other moves as well. When you draw Vigorous Fury, make sure you use it after you have used all your other cards so that you maximise the Fury and Vitalize stacks gained. Overall, Grookly is a fantastic hero to play. He's very complicated when you try and calculate how much damage he can do when you're trying to factor in powerful, multiplied by Fury, adding sharp onto that as well. But he can really do a lot of damage really, really quickly. Make sure you build your team around him so that you can support him and have a good time with him. He's really fun to experiment with and I can't think of anyone else who can do as much damage. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Across the Obelisk content. Thank you for watching and goodbye.